So I want to say this is the dish that makes up about 60 to 90 percent of my daily diet at home and I don't know if it's actually healthy to eat it that much but what I do know is that it's quick, it's easy, it's delicious and it's also super high in protein and that's basically all I'm looking for in my food. So today we are going to be making something that has kind of become my specialty and that is Japanese curry. It's super simple, even a complete beginner, which I basically am, can easily make it. All you need are a couple of carrots, a couple of potatoes, one big onion, and a lot of meat. Now, I have about five pounds or 2.3 kilos, I think, of chicken breast here. You don't necessarily need this much meat or even chicken. Could be beef, lamb, whatever you want, or no meat. Uh, vegetarian curry is delicious too, but I love my meat, so I like to eat meat. So we're gonna be using probably most of this in today's batch. Oh, and of course, how can I forget? The most important ingredient, your favorite Japanese curry mix. This is the SMB Golden Curry, which uh, I like a lot, but there's a lot of different brands out there, so you can use whichever one you prefer. So the first thing we want to do is peel these guys up. That's one. Now I probably don't even have to say this, but I don't actually know how to cook. <laughs> I mean, I can cook well enough to survive. Like I'm not gonna die if you leave me to my own devices, but that's about it. Now it's time to chop. Shout out to my friend Gina for getting me this super sharp knife. Unfortunately, I don't really know how to use it. So I don't really have a standard for how big these pieces should be. Um, just, uh, you know, chop them into whatever you feel like are reasonably sized pieces and we should be good to go. Honestly, I was trying to get like a clip of me just consistently chopping well for five, 10 seconds to use his B-roll, but it's just impossible. It's fine. Carrots done, into the bowl they go. It's potato time. Well, this potato is clearly no good anymore. This one's fine though. So I guess we'll just go with uh, one potato for today's batch. The sad part is I literally just bought these potatoes from the store like half an hour before I started filming, but I have no idea how to tell you know, if a potato is bad on the inside. Or maybe there isn't a way. Maybe you just gotta, you know, grab a potato and hope you get lucky. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you know of a method to uh, tell if a potato has gone bad. Cause um, to me, these two looked exactly the same on the outside. And now for the part I've been dreading, the onion. It's a good thing I'm not filming my face so you guys can't see me cry. I feel like this onion is smaller than the ones I usually use, so I'm gonna add a second one. Okay, all the veggies are chopped. Now you wanna add all the veggies to a hot pot, like so, and stir fry for, I don't know, a few minutes. Now I think at this point it's pretty clear that I'm no chef, but I can make pretty simple things, and this is definitely very, very basic. Um, it takes a little bit of time, but literally anyone can do it. Potatoes are starting to brown a bit on the outside, so that means it's time for us to add our water. And I'm adding about uh, 1,200 milliliters of water for this batch. Obviously, it depends on uh, how big your batch is. Usually for one box of curry mix, at least for this brand, you want to use between 1.2 to 1.5 liters of water. I know this concoction doesn't look the most appetizing right now, but we'll get there. Trust me. So while we wait for our veggies to boil, we're going to chop up our chicken. I don't know if you guys can tell from the video, but these are some monster chicken breasts. I mean, one of these is over a pound by itself. What are they feeding these chickens, man? These definitely came from some like super jacked bodybuilder 
mutant chickens. Once again, no standard size for these chicken pieces. I just kind of chop them up into whatever feels right. <laughs> I can already see the comments right now. Yo, tiger, don't eat that chicken, man. There's something wrong with it. You're gonna grow like a third arm or something. That is about three and a half to four pounds of chicken right there. Veggies are boiling and in goes the chicken. So basically at this point, there's not much else to do except wait for the chicken to cook. Uh, I do give it a stir every once in a while, but um, yeah, I don't know exactly how long I leave it for. Probably somewhere between five to 10 minutes. Uh, I'm sure I'm overcooking the chicken, but better safe than sorry. I feel like I need to clarify that my proportions are way off from what they recommend on the box. As you can see, they say to put about two pounds of protein, 900 grams or two pounds of onions, uh, 250 grams of carrots, and 300 grams of potatoes. What I have is about double the protein and half of all the veggies. So uh, this is basically chicken curry with a little bit of veggies. I will admit this is an issue I've had for a while now. And you would think as a 29 year old man that I would know to eat my vegetables, but I definitely don't get enough, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You might also be thinking, hmm, Tiger, you're almost 30 years old now. How are you still so bad at cooking? And there's no easy answer to that. And I'm a bit ashamed to admit, but throughout most of my teenage and adult years, I haven't really had to cook for myself because I've always been in relationships and my girlfriends have always cooked for me. So um, yeah, it's just something I haven't had to do until recently, but it's cool. It's cool. This is also something I'm working on and I'm gonna use the comments of all the people roasting me in the comments of this video to fuel me on this cooking journey. And maybe you'll see more of these uh, cooking with tiger videos in the future. All right, chicken is just about done. Now we're gonna turn down the heat and add the curry. So for anyone who hasn't made this before, when you open up the box, it comes like this. And each of these packages have four cubes in them and you wanna break them apart and add all eight cubes to the pot. And now we just stir until the cubes fully dissolve and your mixture becomes nice and thick. It's been a few minutes, we're almost there. I think it's pretty much done. Yo, look at that. Look at all that meat. <laughs> it smells so good. So now we're gonna let the curry chill for a bit. Uh, literally, because it's way too hot to eat. And in the meantime, we're gonna get our rice ready. Now, usually I like to make a fresh pot of rice for my fresh batch of curry, but I actually just made some rice last night. So instead, we're gonna have some day old rice, which is still good. Our rice is ready. Curry is looking good too. Now let's bring them together. Okay, well, that did not look as nice as I imagined but uh, it's gonna taste good, okay? That's all that matters. And one more scoop for good measure. There we go. And there you have it, guys. Tiger's special curry. To be honest, this is not the nicest looking batch I've ever made, but it's also not the worst. And finally, before we go, a little taste test. Mmm. There's a reason I eat this for at least two out of every three meals, <laughs> almost every single day. I just love it, I really do. And you would think that after eating this for months on end, I would get tired of it, but I haven't. I really haven't. There was like one week I took off from making curry and I missed it. So I went right back on and now we're here. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go enjoy this in peace. Uh, that's gonna do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching the first 
and possibly last episode of Cooking with Tiger. Uh, go make yourself some curry right now if you haven't done so already. And uh, let me know what you think about it. If you like it. I mean, how could you not? But if you don't, why? That's gonna do it, guys. Uh, hopefully you learned something along the way. If not, then maybe you had fun just roasting my complete lack of culinary skills. That's fine too. Either way, I'm out of here. Uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.